I'm Jocelyn Bell Burnell. I'm an astronomer, or if I want to be scary, I'm an astrophysicist, and I work in the University of Oxford. One of the interesting new developments in astronomy is the interest and the ability in searching for things that erupt suddenly and die down again. Quite short-term things, which I've labelled cosmic fireworks. It's a bit of astronomy that's been rather neglected because we've been focused really on seeing some of the very faint things and to pick them up you have to stare for hours and hours and hours. But with the development of better CCD cameras and a lot of computing developments, we can now do both at the same time. Look for short duration fireworks and see the very faint objects as well. There's lots of different kinds of cosmic fireworks. And once you know something's there and you've got what, some idea what to look for, you keep finding more and more. So not only using the ordinary optical telescopes are they finding things, but X-ray astronomers have for quite a long time. Radio astronomers are picking up short, fast bursts. So it seems to be right across the spectrum. There are these kind of things to be found, but we still don't know what they are. We're still trying to understand them. They're just turning up right, left and centre. Developments in technology enable all sorts of developments. And in astronomy, in astrophysics, we find they usually open up new windows, reveal things that we hadn't suspected that were there. So the technical side is as important as the scientific side. And uh, those of us who work on the scientific side owe a great debt to those who make major technological developments because they really enable and provoke all sorts of discoveries. So with a lot happening at the moment in, in new technologies and particularly new computing technologies, there are all sorts of things happening. It's very exciting. I think the most exciting development in the last few years has to be the opening up of a whole new spectrum. Uh, Glasgow's played a big part in this. At Glasgow University, they've been building equipment to help detect gravitational waves, which are waves in space-time itself. And they made a major discovery just over a year ago, which is hugely exciting. Yes, 18 months ago, I think I was the first speaker in the planetarium here. And it looks like it's a huge success. They've had 150,000 people through, which is amazing, and a fantastic program of speakers. So they've got a good following. It's really great to have it in Glasgow. We're at a stage in society where we need more and more people with science and technological qualifications. There's a severe shortage of people in the computer industry, people who can code, for example. The engineering profession, a lot of them are retiring and they're going to have a serious shortage. So society needs more and more people to get these technical qualifications. And there are lots and lots of jobs. Think of the number of computer games there are. Those all need computer animators and computer experts. So there's huge opportunities for people who can do these scientific and technical things.